What's up guys? Welcome to day two of Live Lean Shred. That's right. We're gonna be hitting the gym shortly. Um, but until then, Jessica's at the office right now. I'm watching baby Kai. Kai, you wanna say hello to everybody? She's playing with my money and the keys. Hey baby. Hey. Are you excited for Live Lean Shred? You excited for another afterburn workout coming up? Yeah, this is gonna be a sweet workout coming up, guys. Um, so one thing that I want to get your help with, let me turn this around, make sure I'm in focus. One thing I wanna get you guys help with is the style of workout videos that you want me to film. So the first video that I did was, um, like I basically showed you every exercise live in the gym. Now we could do this another way. I have exercise demo videos of all of the exercises and we could do it that way where I show you the exercise demo and then just tell you how many reps to do, um, how many sets to do and kind of take you through the workout that way. That's another option. So let me know in the comments below what you would want. That might be a little shorter way to do it as well. So the videos, the vlogs can be a little bit shorter and we can show some more um, other activities like what we eat through the day, um, some social stuff with Kyla and everything else. So let us know in the video comments below. This is all about you guys. So let us know what you wanna see. All right, we're on our way to the office. Kyla, you ready to go to work? Gotta put you to work. Hopefully child labor's not watching this. So by the way, guys, I've moved offices. So um, I know some people send us stuff and you have my old, if you had my old mailing address at my old office, um, it's changed. <laughs> so um, the new mailing address for us is, uh, it's in the, I think it's in the video description below. So if you do send us something moving forward, make sure you use that mailing address down below. Made it to the office. There See, I took care of her, babe. Yeah, you didn't break it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm proud. I, I told you. So, <laughs> so shout out to Jessica for working at the stand desk right now. Oh yeah. Stand desk is good, right? Mm -hmm. Pretty solid. Pretty solid. So, um, I'm gonna like do a little bit of work here, babe, and then we're gonna go shoot the workout video, right? Yep, I'm totally ready to work out. Like you know, I love to work out in the afternoon, and like after a couple hours of work, I just get like. Anxious, like yeah. I just can't wait. I hear. Did <laughs> I you have some coffee? People look forward to their did you workout? have some coffee, did you? Yeah, maybe that's why. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta get some coffee. Talking. Coffee, work, workout. What's that? What's it called? Like CWW? What was the other one called? Like Gym Tan? Yeah. Yeah. Gym Tan Laundry. You guys know what the three S's are, right? Sex. No, no, no. What? Shit, shower, shave. Oh, shit, shower, shave. With that said, let's get to work. Guys, we're back from the office. It was a quick little trip for me. Um, Kai is here. Say what? <laughs> and Jessica wanted to pull out the vlog camera to talk about food. We might as well show you what we're eating because eating is going to be a big part of you getting results during this home shred series. Not just results, shredded results. Shredded results, let's be clear. <laughs> we don't want you to get a little bit of results, we want you going all the way. So eating is a big part of that and a lot of people are really stumped by healthy eating or fitting their macros like how is that even possible? It's totally possible and first step is to relax and realize how simple it can be. So I just put together this really healthy lunch. It was so easy. It took me probably like six minutes to put together. We had some already grilled chicken. So that's the key. That is key, yeah. Right there. You need to prep your proteins ahead of time. So we're thinking, uh, we're trying to fit everything into these vlogs. Like we don't want them to be like three hour vlogs. I know. <laughs> but we want to incorporate nutrition because it's so important as well. Um, but I think like another series we could be coming out with is like a, like a nutrition series. But we're like really dialing in showing you how to meal prep. Because I think yeah. meal prep is so important. And it's not like we're going to make you guys live the Tupperware life. Yeah, this but, isn't like bodybuilder nutrition. No. This is real life, everyday people like you yeah, and me. Yeah, like going you know? to the office to work. Have kids at home. Yeah, exactly. Where's the kid? There's the kid. Down there <laughs> Have a dog. You know, like we're just everyday average Canadian Americans. And we don't have Americans? all the time in the Americans? Com Americans? I just made up yeah. a new word. Um, so we don't have endless time to like spend in the kitchen or eating yeah. at a Tupperware. That's just not realistic. So, but we do find realistic solutions that work really well for us and help us get shreddy. So if you can do the same, I guarantee you put some effort in, into your nutrition, you'll see much better results from your workouts. Yeah, so 
These vlogs are not just going to be workouts. We're gonna throw in some nutrition nuggets in there as well. We're gonna throw some motivational nuggets in there as well. And there was a question from yesterday's um, video that somebody wished we would have had one last Ask Live Wing TV. Guess what? We did do one last Ask Live Wing TV. We filmed it and it got deleted. I don't know how it got deleted. I can't find it anywhere. Jessica can't oh find anywhere. Oh my gosh, it's such a mystery, you guys. We like, did like 27 questions, like just trying to get as many in as we could. It was to... a great episode too. It was like, yeah, it was amazing. So, and then, yeah, it yes. was just lost. So, um, if you guys do want questions answered, like we can do like a little segment on these vlogs as well. Um, use, what should we say? Like hashtag what? Um, hashtag... You don't want to use Absolutely TV like we've been using? Yeah, you know what? Let's just keep it consistent. Yeah, use the same You hashtag. just use hashtag Living TV or hashtag Ask Living TV. Um, it's not to say that we can get to every single one because we can't dedicate an entire episode, episode to it. Episode, yeah. But you know, we'll just grab the vlog camera when we have a chance and be like, okay, here's one. Boom. Jessica, answer. Done. All right? So we're going to keep everybody happy up in here. Make sure you keep watching. Let's eat. All right, Kai. It's time to go to school. What school is that? The school. Of gains. <laughs> She's in. Are you my number one fan? <laughs> Your dad is lame. <laughs> She's <smiling>. hilarious. <laughs> Guys, what's up? Welcome back to the gym. This is workout number two from Lily Natchburn 1.0. This is complex workout number one. So complex workout. If you haven't seen them before, one of my favorite training styles. I call this like cardio with weights. I gotta put the timestamp for the warm up because you're not a meathead. You do warm ups. We're in this for the long term. No injuries. So the timestamp right here to go do the warm up from yesterday's workout video. That's the warm up you do before every single video. So complex workout. Let's get into it, shall we? Let's go. Time to take over, Kai. Got you, Daddy. Okay, you ready? You still rolling? Been ready all my life, Bill. Mm, Bip. <laughs> Bip. This is right. how we treat each other. <laughs> Guys, if you haven't got on the newsletter list, we send you out the workout um, right to your email. So you have it right here. So as I just showed you, this is complex number one, describes how you do it. So basically the complex is we're gonna do four exercises. We're gonna go five reps per exercise, but you're never gonna drop the weight. So you're gonna pick one weight for all four exercises. So whichever is the most challenging exercise, pick the weight for that exercise. So for instance, we're going to do barbell front squat, bent over row, barbell high pull, and a barbell push press. So in my opinion, the most difficult exercise out of that from a weight perspective would be the high pull. So choose a weight that you can do five reps for the high pull, and we're gonna do that throughout the whole entire complex. So when I say we're not dropping the weight, I mean you're keeping it in your hand as you transition from one exercise to the next. So barbell front squat right into the row, we're not dropping it, and you just keep doing that. We're gonna do that for three sets. This is gonna get you shredded. That's right, because you are in live lean shred. Let's go. Can you show us that row again? That was funny. The what? <laughs> the way you do the row. The row? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we have a barbell complex and a dumbbell complex. So if you don't have access to a barbell, there's a Smith machine in here, but you can't really do a Smith machine complex because the weight, it takes the weight away from your hand. You know what I'm saying? Like when you have a bar, a free weight barbell, it puts a strain on your forearms and everything and it gives you just that overall, and increases the intensity of the workout. But using this is not really gonna work out. So what I'm gonna do, because we don't have access to an Olympic bar here, I'm gonna show you how to do the dumbbell version of all of these, but you can check out this video right here and it's gonna actually the exact same workout that I'm gonna put you through right now. This was an older video that we did. It shows you how to do the complex with the barbell. But for this video, if you don't have access to a barbell, let's do dumbbell, shall we? Juicy, juicy, juicy. I'm so excited for these workouts. <laughs> Juicy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're doing the dumbbell front squat first, but do the barbell front squat if you have access. Here's the exercise demo on how to do the barbell front squat right up there. So I'm going to take, oh yeah, so pick a weight that you have to do for the most challenging exercise. So that just changed my perception here. So let's just grab these bad boys right here. Okay, so barbell front squat. What size are you using? Dumbbell front squat. These are just 35s. 35s. But you gotta lift for your own your own ability. And I'm doing a demo, so I'm not really going as heavy as I could. So front squat, you can have them right here. So palms facing each other, down and up. That's one, two. You could also have the dumbbells facing this way, which makes it a little more challenging. Three, 
four and five. Now, the weights do not leave your hands. Bent over row. One, two, flat back guys. Three, four, five. Dumbbell high pull. Here's down, up on your tippy toes as you come up. Three, four, five. And what did I say was the last exercise? Do you remember? Oh man, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> I just ruined the complex. Stay with me here, people. If this happens to you guys, then it's okay because it happens even to Barbell push guys. press. Oh, hurry! So pretend like I still have it in my hands. <laughs> Up and down. It's like a push press is about like a quarter squat. Thrust those hips forward to press the elbows back above your head. That was five. Good five. job. Done. All right. So right there was one complex. So the heart rate is elevated. The muscles are burning. So if you if you actually measure my heart rate right now, we're in that fat burning zone. But the muscles, we're maintaining muscle, we're building muscle. This is what I love afterward, guys. And guys, don't worry about like being ultra perfect on everything like you saw. He forgot an exercise. Go back and check your phone. Like it's okay, it's not the end of the world. If you're gonna be perfect on something, be perfect on form. Yes. Form is everything, Boom. no sloppy reps. Take your time and move slower even than he is moving. If you're not used to these movements, do not injure yourself. Yeah, so once again, watch your PDF. Memorize those four exercises in the order of them for the complexes especially because you don't want to drop the weights. Once you finish the third complex, so that was one, you're gonna do that again and again, and you're gonna take two minute break in between. Once you finish that third set of your complex, you're gonna do ignited up jump squats. 45 seconds, let's roll. You got me? Got you, let's see it. All right, so once again with the jump squats, down to parallel and up. You can leave your hands here if you want, or if you want to get really up there, but I'm going to go through the ceiling because mm -hmm. it's kind of, I got too much ups. Mm -hmm. 45 seconds of jump squats like that. Once you're done the jump squats, take about a minute break or so, move on to the next complex, which is going to be a dumbbell complex. So once again, the first one was supposed to be barbell. We don't have access to it in this gym. You may not have access to it. That's okay. You just keep rolling with it. All right, guys, welcome to circuit B of the complex. We're gonna do the dumbbell front squat again. So once again, this should be the first time you're doing it if you have access to that barbell. So same thing, guys. One, two, three, four, five. Next up, the push press. One, two, Three, four, five. Alternating front lunge. One, two, so you're gonna go five per leg. Three, four, five, halfway there. <laughs> Six, Kyla, cheer me on. Seven, eight, and the best rep, last rep. <laughs> 10, last one, bench press. Five reps, one, two, nice slow and control on the way down, three, explode up, four, five. That's another complex. Three more of those, baby, or do two more of those, baby, for a total of three. Check my heart rate right now. Just feel that, Kai. Who? Damn, baby. It's going, right? Yeah, it's pumping and hard. And that was just one set. And I'm you're just even, demoing. <laughs> I'm not even really looking at heavy because I'm just doing exercise demos for you guys. So this workout style is going to get you. It's going to be quick too. Probably 30, 35 minutes. So once you finish your third and final complex of that circuit, moving on to the four minute finisher, Tabata style. 
and we're doing burpees, people. This style of training is probably so different than a lot of you are used to with like regular weight training in the gym, but different is a good thing. That means so you're good. gonna see different results, you're gonna have a different experience, and hopefully you're actually gonna enjoy going to the gym more than you used to when you used to just do like boring standard workouts or like using all these machines. Yeah, we yeah. don't really use them. You may realize when you're doing live lean programs, like it's different training styles than your typical stuff you'll see in bodybuilding magazines. Because it's not bodybuilding. It's straight sets that are so boring to people. So if you've been in the gym for quite a while and you're bored with your workouts, man, our programs like this one <laughs> are for you. <laughs> <laughs> She's not bored. We're not bored. This is how we continue living lean 365 for years and years and years and years. So you gotta keep your workouts fresh, interesting, follow programs that get you excited. Right. You ready for that finisher, babe? Yeah, get your water, keep your water close by. Okay, let's do it. Okay guys, four minutes. So if you have, if you don't have a Tabata timer, put a link down below where you can get one that we use. 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds rest. You're gonna do four different exercises, four different burpee variations, and then you're gonna repeat that for a total of two times, four minutes, the workout's done. And like I said in yesterday's video, these workout finishers are just to put it all out there so that when you leave the gym floor, you're like, I gave it my all, I got nothing left. That's what these uh, finishers are for. Ooh, take a breath, buzzer, in, first burpee. Go. First burpee is just a, like a beginner style burpee. So here, here, and then stand. They, you could also step back instead of jump. You could also step back. So here, here, and stand. Show with a step back. Just in case anyone's dealing with like knee or hip issues, just do the stepping version. So you're gonna do that for 20 yeah. seconds. You'll still get your heart rate up. Now we're gonna add a little bit. So as we go, the burpees are gonna get a little more difficult. So you're here. Push up and stand. So you're gonna do that version of burpee, <clears throat> excuse me, for 20 seconds. We'll do one more. Once 20 seconds is up, you take that 10 second break. We're gonna move on to the third version of the burpee. We're gonna add the jump here and then jump up. I'm gonna like throw my hands through the ceiling. Careful there, <laughs> careful there, don't break anything. White boy got ups. <laughs> okay, 10 second break. Now we're gonna move on to the final one. Atomic. The atomic burpee. Yeah, baby. This one's gonna get you. Yes, knees up. We'll do one more. So if that's too difficult, stick with one of those versions of burpees. 20 seconds, 10 second break, and you just go through that one more time, okay? So find the burpee that challenges you. You can use that one all the way through, or you can just do it like I did. Listen to the way he's breathing right now. You can like <laughs> hear the fat cells just leaving his body. Well, there they like, go, there the they go. coming out of my breath, right? <laughs> yeah. Oxidizing, right? Exactly. <laughs> Get it out, that's the fat loss dance. <laughs> And see, you guys should be smiling at the end of your workout just like this because that's, you know, you know you've done good. So guys, hopefully you are loving these workouts. This was two of my afterburn workouts. Tomorrow, Bless you. guess who's coming to train you tomorrow? Me and Kai, we're gonna be in the backyard doing our home shred workout that requires no equipment. Tomorrow is a body weight only. 15 minutes, training, right? 15 minute workout. And baby Kai will be there just like walking around and you'll see her. So I'm gonna show you how you can work out if you have no gym access. If you're a stay at home mom, you have all the excuses, but we're not using any excuses tomorrow. We're still gonna get it done. That's right guys. So thank you for joining me once again. And just come over here for a sec. I went through one circuit of each and like I was dogging it because I was doing a demo. I wasn't going heavy and I already have like beads of sweat on my <laughs> forehead. So get ready for transformation time, people. If you haven't taken your before photos yet, make sure you take your before photo. We want to see them. And if you haven't joined our Facebook exclusive Live Lean Afterburn group yet, it's in the email, in the first email that we sent out. So go um, join the group 
because it's community. We're all in this, support each other. Let's get through this next 42 days and get shredded. Guys, this style of training is absolutely life-changing. And like before I met Brad, I didn't train like this. I had my seasons, on season, off season, because you guys know I was doing like bikini competitions. But this style of training is what literally changed my life and taught me to live lean 365. So I hope that you know you see me as an inspiration and know that you too, like if you start implementing this style of workout, you're gonna see incredible results and they'll actually be sustainable. <laughs> Kyla, <laughs> you're gonna get shreddy, aren't you? You're, you're a metahuman, aren't you? We think, we think Kyla's a metahuman. Yeah. She's super strong already. <laughs> Good job, Kai. Oh, it's like harder having to be careful. You're nice and safe, Kai. Don't worry. <laughs> She's like, I don't worry. My mom is superwoman. Yeah. Guys, lots going down. Everyone's joining the Living Afterburn Trainees Facebook group. If you haven't done it yet, go to your email, find the link, go join. And I love one thing I love about it, like some, reading some of these comments, are people are like buddy buddying with each other, buddy buddying with each other, but becoming like accountability partners. Like they're saying like, add me on Facebook, I wanna keep you accountable. Um, so I love that. I love the Lively Nation teaming up with each other to get each other results, keep each other accountable, keep each other motivated to get through these next 42 days. So that's so awesome to see. Um, yeah, another great day. We're gonna shut it down here soon. <laughs> <laughs> Someone just had a nap. And someone just woke up. I think we're all gonna go to bed because somebody was a little, a little cray cray last night with his teeth coming in. Last night was a little cray. <laughs> She's like, yeah, you talking about me? Yeah. <laughs> all right, guys. We love you once again. Good night. We'll see you tomorrow. Jessica's gonna put you through her home shred workout. Pretty psyched about that. Yeah. And Good Kyla will be there. night, everybody. Bye. Bye.